Hey, what's up guys, Joker here. Today I wanted to clear something up for you guys about the NVIDIA GTX 1080 and 1070 launches from NVIDIA. When they announced these cards, they had talked about a Founders Edition on the GTX 1080 that was going to be launching for $700, along with the MSRP version of the GTX 1080 for $600. But that's actually been cleared up now, thanks to Steve over at Gamers Nexus. They put out a good post here talking about the details and what the exact differences are between the Founders Edition and the non-Founders Edition. And it looks like the Founders Edition is actually just the reference model card. So there's not gonna be like two versions of the same card coming out from NVIDIA. A lot of people had assumed, myself included, that the, the, the higher version was maybe gonna have the back plate and you know maybe have a, a, maybe a bin chip or even be overclocked coming out of the box. That was kind of the assumption that a lot of us came to, but it looks like that's actually not the case and it's just going to be the basic reference model. So the way that we think of reference cards is that that's what is, that is what the Founders Edition is going to be. So whenever you think of Founders Edition, think reference card, and that's coming straight from from Gamers Next. That's to quote them basically. Um, but that sounds pretty accurate based on the information that they are giving us. Now the question in my mind going forward is. Is, is that going to uh, reflect its way into other reference cards from other manufacturers? Because traditionally in the past, we've seen pretty much every GPU manufacturer come out with their reference cards as well, sometimes overclocked, sometimes just at stock clocks. Zotac, MSI, Gigabyte, Asus, all of these manufacturers at launch typically do come out with reference model cards. So I'm going to be interested to see if those launch at $700 as well, or maybe we'll be able to get those at a slightly lower cost than the one directly from NVIDIA. I would have to assume that it's probably still going to be $700, which is kind of bad news bears for me since I do like reference cards because I use SLI uh, in a very, very closed air system that I really need to get that extra cooling going out the back of the system because the reference cards will pull in the hot air and exhaust it out the back of the PC and in SLI configurations, that's extremely beneficial. And being that I run SLI as well as use a very closed up system in the Define R5 without any additional like side fans. I just got two two intakes on the front and one on the back, but even the front has a door that goes over it. So it's not the best case for airflow. It's really built to be silent. So I need to have all the additional cooling that I can. And that is why I choose to use reference cards. So either way, you know, when these cards are coming out, you know, if it's 700 bucks, I guess I'm going to just have to pony up 700 bucks because I, I need reference cards in my, in my system personally. Um, you know, how much are aftermarket cards going to release for? That's another question we're going to have to ask ourselves here. Usually aftermarket cards release at a little bit more than the reference cards, but it looks like this is going to not be the case possibly, or at least they'll be able to sell them for as low as like $599, which is the MSRP from NVIDIA. So we'll just have to wait and see. Only a few more weeks to go until we get these cards. Are you guys going to get one though? Let me know. If you're, are you getting 1070? Are you wait, are you getting 1080? Are you waiting for the 1070? Are you going to go reference now that we know it's going to be a little bit more. I know a lot of people that do, do use reference, like myself included, are, are fairly passionate about reference cards, and we like to use only reference cards, but not everyone is the same. Some people are just like, oh yeah, I'll just use whatever or whatever I can get first. But now with the price point being a little bit higher, it's probably going to make some of you maybe think about that a little bit more. And I'd be curious to see what your opinions are in the comments below. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of here, guys. Be sure to check out the full article from Gamers Nexus on this topic. Uh, and thanks to them for tipping off and giving, giving us the full details on the Founders Edition. And I'll catch you guys next time.